What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We are here once again with some more Upchurch. So off bat, I just want to say, man, thank you guys so much for all you guys that check out my last video. Um, getting acquainted with the the beef between Upchurch and Screwface John. I've already talked about my little history with being a subscriber of Screwface's um, YouTube channel when he used to do reactions when he was one of those guys in the community that was um, you know somebody you messed with you know what I'm saying um, so didn't know him and Upchurch was having a beef and that started doing Upchurch reactions um, he dropped the video and I decided to watch the video I didn't react to it I decided to watch the video um, re and realize about the beef. So that's why I dropped that one hour and 40 something minutes <laughs> of a video just giving my thoughts on the entire beef up to the um, the last diss track that Upchurch dropped to Smash. And my overall <laughs> accession of the entire thing, which I am going to do a review because I didn't get a chance to do a complete review of my thoughts on the whole thing um but i am going to be putting out that video very soon so look out for it um just got to get my thoughts together but you guys have been putting this suggestion in the comment section for a very long time multiple people have suggested i check out this um remix alpha omega um said it's one of the craziest ones that he's done with craziest bars that he's done so i am going to be checking it out right now um, so, and I have to say, man, shout out to Upchurch for, um, for shouting me out on his Instagram. That was pretty dope. Uh, the thing about it is this, and that's, this is what I say. Like when you hear people say that Upchurch is a real one, take it to heart that he is. And the reason why is because this dude's actions will surprise you and, and it, it will surprise you in a good way way because he does not have to do any of this right he does not have any he does not have to do any of it he doesn't have to show any reactors any love he doesn't have to because we could be out here reacting to his videos he doesn't have to respond he doesn't have to say any of us names he doesn't have to give us shout outs he just he doesn't that's period point blank he he doesn't <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so i really do appreciate him um, doing that because, you know, I mean, other than the fact that it gives us a lot more exposure, help us to grow and stuff like that. It's just, um, my sincerely and, and humbly, you know what I'm saying? Just saying that because he deserves it. He deserves it, man. Cause, um, and you know, screw is, I don't want to talk about him because you know what I'm saying? Like, I've just been recently, like, I, because I'm reacting to his stuff again, like some some of the stuff that p people has been going through with him and has made videos on him, talking about Blindside. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people that has made videos on him, as somebody mentioned in the comment section, you know, and I've been checking them out. Because I've, I, you know what I'm saying? I've been checking them out, 20 minute videos and stuff like that. I've been checking them out just to see what he's been doing. And, you know, other than the fact that um, from my point of view and from what I've seen and experienced when I was subscribed to him, like what has been going on? Because, you know, you think people would better themselves, but he's still on the same ish, man. You know what I'm saying? Like six months later and it's gotten worse. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now I, I'm hearing that the same shit that he accused Dax of doing is the same. He, he did it to somebody else. I mean, you know, <laughs> but in any way, man, um, as I said, man, thank you. Shout out to Upchurch once again, man. We here for this one. Alpha Omega. So let's give this guy a round of applause and let's get into this reaction, man. I'll see you guys over there.
Church. Mm. Church. Yeah. 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 I got one life to live. I got six in the chamber. Travel no safety because I'm facing danger. Got people who hate me. My words may have anger, but I pulled a pop on the crazy ass stranger. Who's holding a knife claiming that he can take me with five of his buddies and that's for off Broadway, but they do not realize my life is important. Got plenty of people I love. I'm support. So you bring that knife and I'll bring that Mel Gibson. That's for lethal weapon. No need for admission. There's no ass in Nashville that my lips are kissing. I'm too busy winning to worry about this. I'm rolling mm. up one on the tailgate and cheat him. Wondering one day if I'll be a legend. I got on my sights and my prayers to heaven the way that i rap you think i killed the devil i'm ripping that dirt until i'm in the casket and when that day comes make sure i look fantastic and ride me through town in the truck that's jurassic just give me my pistol and load it and strap it let's ride in that light to another dimension my heritage that it bitch i am from dixie you wanna take shots and i'm reloading quickly y'all's aim is a fuck so them bullets ain't hit me bitch okay <laughs> okay we gonna run that back we gonna run that back because that was too savage. We gonna run that back. I, I I wanted to stop it for a second, but every time I wanted to stop it, it was another bar. You see, the thing about this, the thing about Upchurch that I like is, um, and I said this about a lot of artists, where you, when you can mix simplicity and complexity in your music, it's a combination that a lot of people as artists can't do they can't mix it up they can't they can't keep it simple and make it complex at the same time it's a skill that um that eminem is mastered to the point you know what i'm saying to the point where you feel like he can't do no wrong or he can't say nothing that's wrong on his tracks and i think that's the difference in 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 his skill when it comes on to the rap game and that's why, you know what I'm saying? As I said, I've gravitated towards Upchurch music to, you know what I'm saying? To the point where, you know what I'm saying? I want to understand what he's saying in his music, not just from the rap situation. As I said, I'm trying to go through all the remix first before I go and listen to um, some of his other stuff. So, um, so like his, his stuff, his album stuff and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's go back here for a second because we, we pulling that up. I want to hear back that entire thing again because that was fire. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I got one life to live, I got six in the chamber. Travel no safety, cause I'm facing danger. Got people who hate me, my words may have anger, but I put a pop on the crazy ass stranger. Who's holding the knife, claiming that he can take me with five of his buddies in Nashville off Broadway, but they do not realize my life is important. Got plenty of people I love, I'm support. So you bring that knife and I bring that Mel Gibson, that's Yo. beneath the web. I want you. You see what I'm saying? When he he begun the track, you hear what he said? He got six in the chamber. A guy comes to me and think he can take me on with five of his buddies. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of times, you really have to hear what he's saying because there's simplicity and complexity. Complexity. If you want to just say it like that to what he's saying the reference and he reminds me so much of how Re eminem writes his music jay write his music like this too um jay-z writes his lyrics similar to that too jay-z is another guy that has mastered his craft you get what i'm saying so for for someone to come up and be like oh up church doesn't belong I'm like, are you kidding me? Talent is undeniable. But talent plus hard work is what makes you a superstar. So you see, people like Eminem, relentless, relentless in their earlier days. Nowadays, Eminem could drop an album every every two years, every five years, any t every 10 years. Um, the reason why I compare up church to Eminem because he reminds me of Eminem in the way how he puts his rap lyrics together. You get what I'm saying? Yes, he doesn't. He, he's not putting a bunch of double entendres, triple entendres because um, wordplay is 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 like a blacksmith working on a sword. <laughs> if you if you want to call it that, like it has to be. You you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be on that level. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, so how he put lyrics together is very similar to Eminem, but he's not Eminem's level. You get what I'm saying? He's not Eminem level. I'm not trying to say, it, it, you know what I'm saying? He's Eminem. I'm just saying he reminds me of Eminem of how he put lyrics together. As in, as you can see, I'm 33 seconds into this video. This guy is a freaking genius, man. And just like how I believe that Eminem has a hot, high, very high IQ, I believe Upchurch has it. And as he goes along, he's going to get way better. You get what I'm saying? If you listen to, um, say, listen to, I want you guys to go back and listen to the first, if you guys are Eminem fans, listen to the first Marshall Mathers um, LP and then listen to LP2. And you could see the difference. I think they're like, I want to say 10 years apart. I think, I don't, I don't remember exactly. But those two albums are like night and day. When it comes on to, you can see how much Eminem has improved from that, from the first one to the second one. You can see how improved he was. And that's what I'm trying to say. Give up church some time. And I think, I believe that he will get to that level. I believe he will get to that status lyrically. You get what I'm saying? I believe he can get there lyrically. I believe he can get there in fame. I do believe he can become infamous in the game, just like Eminem. I believe in that. And he's going to do it differently because he's independent. You, know? you get what I'm saying? You should be out here working, putting out music. Let people know who you are, man. It doesn't matter. Good, you know, feedback is always good. And I can bet you that it, 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 his fans push him to be better. I know I'm going off on a rant right now. I've been talking for like five minutes. <laughs> this is Let's listen to this this song, man. This is no need for admission. There's no ass and that's that my lips are kissing. I'm too busy winning to worry about this. I'm rolling up one on a tailgate and cheat him. Wondering one day if I'll be a legend. I got on my sights and my prayers to heaven. The way that I rap, you think I killed the devil. I'm ripping ah. the I'm in the casket. And when that day comes, make sure I look fantastic and ride me through town in the truck. That's Jurassic. Just give me my pistol and load it and strap it. Let's ride in that light to another <laughs> Out of town in a chuck like Jurassic. <laughs> oh, you hear that again. I'm ripping that dirt until I'm in the casket, and when that day comes, make sure I look fantastic and ride me through town in the truck that's Jurassic. Just give me my pistol and load it and strap it. Let's ride in that light to another dimension. My heritage, that and bitch, I am from Dixie. You wanna take shots and I'm reloading quickly. Y'all say me's a fuck, so them bullets ain't hit me, bitch. Yeah, I am the cowboy, the last of Mohegans. She, I am the cowboy that last the Mohegans. Yeah. I am the cowboy that last the Mohegans. Bitch, I am the cowboy that last the Mohegans. If Papa was here, then he'd probably be proud. But skip all my shows because that shit is too loud. But he's looking down from way up in the clouds, and I'm taking his traits to go show all my crowds. Carrying my gun places, I'm not allowed. People will kill you to be noticed now. My Instagram followers, 500,000. These fucking devices are driving me wild. I get criticized wow. for the truth in my foul. But credit for shit that just flows out my mouth. Love on my fans, put it down for the South. You couldn't trade me the world for me to go sell out. Ripped up jeans, what the fuck you mean? Got Walmart boots, fuck a big brand name. Should I really have gas in my old grand dam? Now I'm puffing on the gram, sitting back like damn. Got plenty of people telling me that we are related than their brothers, uncle, mama went to school, my daddy, and how much money do I make? And what the fuck is my salary? I'm a motherfucking leader, y'all are sending me cavalry. Dropping bombs on the clock like I'm killing it hourly. All I got is courage, cause my competition is cowardly. Used to make all my money, paying high on the balcony. Now I started chasing dreams, and my dreams are reality. She. And anybody trying to hook chains in my path, but the rip the rear end right up under your ass and post a picture on your face on the Craigslist ad. Five bucks over yo for your cliche ass. When the fuck I'm a knowledge is wasting money up in colleges. I'm a military minor, so you get no apologies. Real last lyrics, bitch. You know that I got a lot of these that are all the country rappers, bitch. I am the prodigy. Hot, ha. Oh shit, bring the beat back. Six white crackers making out of black Cadillac. Fuck that, bring the beach back. South Carolina rubbing on a big fat ass. Rolling up all the like guns like my state is legal. Watching the sunset with my eyes red as a devil. Bitch, for shit. What? They can make a medieval evil. I might talk a little slow, but the fuck with my temper. What? Yeah, I am the cowboy that last the Mohegans. Shit, I am the cowboy that last the Mohegans. Oh, yeah. I am the cowboy that last the Mohegans. You know it. Bitch, I am the cowboy that last the Mohegans. Church, I am the cowboy, my fuck the fuck was gonna say. Church, church, the last the Mohegans, the fuck is gonna say. Church, church, bitch, I am the cowboy, the fuck is you say. The fuck is you say. Church, last the Mohegans, the fuck is gonna say. Oh, 
Okay, so that was a fire track, man. Um, that was a fire track. I know I probably talked too much on that track, but I have so much to say um, about this guy, man, because he's. Um, you can hear the difference between now and then, because I think this this one came out like three years ago, and you can hear the difference. And that's what I'm saying. Like, e even though I was talking about it, um. During the the middle the middle of the song, when he when he um when he changed his flow, right? When he changed his flow, you can hear that he was off beat a little bit. He was off beat a, he was off beat a little bit. And now when you listen to his music, you can see the difference in how he paces himself, make sure that he's on point. If you listen to his his um his remixes now, the difference is it, you know what I'm saying? It's obvious. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it's pretty obvious. Um, so, uh, man, it, it's just cool to see artist development, and I'm glad that he's worked on it and he's be and he's become better. He's way better. I mean, this um the smash, the 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 smash was just that is, it's it is up there in diss tracks. I mean, and when he when he went on acapella at the end and was just straight up, okay, you want you want battle rap bars? Let me give you some battle rap bars, cause those at the end of the smash, those were battle rap bars. You wanted battle rap raw. You you say you from the... Upchurch is going to be one of the biggest artists ever, and I'm telling you guys right now. Remember that terrible. Terabyte Reacts told you guys this, that if he continues to do the things that he's doing, he's going to be one of the biggest artists you guys have ever known. Not just not just because of the amount of content that he puts out and his work ethic, not just because of that, but also because he pay attention to, to the community. I'm telling you, it's one of the things that a lot of artists, they're out of touch with what's going on. They think they have it. You get what I'm saying? They think they have it already, and then they fall off. You get what I'm saying? What happened to all these artists that was that was killing it two, three years ago? You know what I'm saying? Young Thug, all these dudes. Nobody wants to mess with them no more. They ain't saying shit. They mumble rappers. You get what I'm saying? Not doing anything. Some some things just, you know what I'm saying? Some people just last for a while because there's no work ethic there. They made a little money. And that's all they, they rave about. They go on Instagram. They go on, you know, Twitter. They go on Facebook. And that's all they rave about is the money they've made, the woman they're with hanging out, they live and all this other stuff. Where's the music, homie? Where's the music? You're supposed to be honing your craft, getting better. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. You wanna you you wanna be a hip hop star? You wanna be a rap star? I wanna see the music. We need to hear the music. You get what I'm saying? If you claim that you have the talent, I also wanna see that hard work. Because that's the only way that people gonna know if you're putting out good stuff. You know what I'm saying? People are not so hateful. Plus, most of these guys, they develop very strong fan bases. And then they just fizzle out. They just fizzle out. Because some of them say, oh, I got real talent. But, dude, where's the content? Where's the music? You know what I'm saying? You weren't that good. <laughs> You you weren't that good to 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 le listen, man. Is when you get there. That's when you can when you get to superstar status, right? When you get to superstar status, you know, like uh, a Jay Z, where you can you know not put out an album for ten years and then you drop an album, everybody wants it. You're not there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not there. You know what I'm saying? You're not a little waiting. We were waiting for the car to fire forever, and then finally we finally got it, right? Not his fault, really. 
you know, <sighs> crazy times, crazy times. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Up Church, he already knows he's a real one, man. You ain't got to tell him that he knows for himself. Um, well, definitely, man. You can see the appreciation for it for him in the community man um as i said man hip-hop doesn't belong to any specific race um it doesn't it doesn't belong to a country it's a genre of music and i believe music is for everyone yes people are going to have their preferences people are not going to probably they don't enjoy listening to hip-hop you know at least not nowadays hip-hop i'm so glad that hip-hop has kind of come back to its if you want to say roots as in lyricism and it's not just about you know the money and the girls and the cars you know it's not about that stuff anymore um i think that's kind of fizzling out i think that age is over i think lyricism is coming back so i'm definitely for it so as i said man thank you guys so much for tuning in um thank you guys for all the people that subscribe because of the shout out on instagram by up church again man thank you so much for that so like subscribe if you're new and also leave a comment in the comment section man your boy terabyte reacts and i will see you guys next time for some more up church peace